I wrote this for every kid who's ever been devalued or dismissed. If you've ever been picked on, passed up, counted out, this one's for you. When you see me, all you see is disability. But when you do, all you do is diss my ability. If we were all the same, maybe life would go more blissfully. But I'm sorry, I don't fit the picture of what society says I'm supposed to be. I'm not a useless eater, I was put here for a purpose. I've been uniquely designed and optimized, so you can't see that on the surface. I've got so much intel inside, sometimes this power makes me nervous. But I have a chip on my shoulder and my memory's backed up from all the times you deem me worthless. Look, your inability to see past disability shows the fragility of your facility, shows the instability of your tranquility, shows the senility of your virility. I meet your hostility with calm agility. I meet your incivility with cool versatility. Not with docility, but with the audacity of possibility to limit me to a disability is the epitome of futility. I am who I am, wasn't created for shame. I stay humble, hungry, and foolish for change. I don't seek fame, but I proclaim I wasn't born in vain. And when I'm done, the world will remember my name. You see special needs, I got more special abilities than an X-Man. I reach those that you can't. I make more special deliveries than FedEx can. I got single focus like Cyclops, some are more magnetic than an X-Man. So keep your gene gray clouds, this storm is going rogue. My beast won't wreak havoc on your best plan. Einstein, Mozart, and Newton, they probably had autism. Anxiety and depression, they plagued Abraham Lincoln. Steve Jobs, Rassen, and Spielberg, they battled dyslexic symptoms. Beethoven, he lost his hearing, but listen, he didn't lose his rhythm. Maybe instead of criticism, we need more optimism. So don't define me by my anxiety. Don't patronize me with misplaced piety. My variety is critical to society. I'm defiantly and justifiably going to be the real me. Disability? This ability.